let's take a look and see who we have here. Sean and I, we met and we were married in three months. One of those crazy whirlwind romances. Such a short amount of time, just the two of us before Chandler came into the picture. We went from one to two boys. It wasn't that big of a change, but then the third really was a big jump. <laughs> Sean goes to work every day. I'm the one that's there all the time, doing most of the discipline. Now, sit on your butt. I always feel like I'm getting pulled in different directions. They do share with them, but they never share with me. No! <laughs> we are here to talk about our three little boys. Chandler's biggest issue is respect. You know why I want to do it alone? Because you. You clean up the toy room. No. The back talk. Chandler? Oh. It's all about the attitude. Caden, boy. He's always worn us out. Your bicycle. Caden or. He won't eat anything with the family. He usually has to have another meal cooked for him. Honey, we're not having three pebbles for dinner. I make him something different almost every night. Caden obviously doesn't like his food. Declan? Declan. He's just a handful. Get out of my way! I'm starting to see little things that he does that are just mimics of his brother's behavior. No. What did you say? He is a little bit of a wanderer. He kind of has free reign in the neighborhood. Dex? Far too dangerous. I feel like if I don't get control now, I'm afraid of completely losing control later. We are asking for your help with our little guys. Please come and help the Orm family. Consider it done. I'm on my way. This is Caden. Hi, Caden. Nice to meet you. Can you say nice to meet you? Now, let's see. That's Chandler yeah. over there. Hi, Chandler. How are you? Pleased to meet you. When she walked in the door, I was a little scared because she seemed like she had that sternness about her. Hi, yeah. This is Declan. Can you Hi, say Declan. Hi, Declan. How are you? I'm going to shake my hand. Pleased to meet you. He's a little shy. He is a little bit shy. Yeah. Tammy introduced me to her three sons, and they're full of energy and, you know, definitely a handful. Tammy, what we're going to do today is I'm going to watch you and observe. OK. So I want you to carry on as normal. OK. Um, I know you've got some, yeah. you know, issues that need to be addressed. Yeah, like but shoving. We'll get to the bottom of that <laughs> and we'll find solutions. Wonderful. So I'm going to step back and just watch you as you normally would be, OK? OK, sounds good. All right. When I first meet a family, I observe their family life and the dynamics between parents and their children. I watch, I listen, and I take mental notes. I've got to show them a pig. Do it with I'm a pig. Well, you know, we'll paint in a minute. Let me just put one more little on my way and I'll be all done. And then I, all yours. <coughs> Within minutes of walking into the house, Chandler, who's eight, and Caden, who's six, started fighting. Ow! <laughs> Me, they were hurting one another, and then it became a lot more aggressive. <laughs> Mum was oblivious. It was just madness. Caden, <laughs> do you always step over your brother like that? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, we always. Right. Which way is he going, honey? This way, right? Get the ball, get he's the ball! Oh, he's going for mine. Oh. So you gotta hit it this way. Play with your brother for a little bit, honey, okay? I need your help. Honey, who are you gonna play with? Mommy can't Kaden. play. Where's Kaden? I don't know. Kaden? Honey? Kaden, who's six years old, nobody knows where he is. Where's Caden and Declan now? And Declan, who's three years old, he goes missing. Does that normally happen, Tammy? Yeah, because they'll run outside, and especially with Declan, because he never tells me if he's leaving, that I'll be running around the neighborhood searching everywhere for him. That's bloody crazy. Where's Declan? Declan! 
day Declan went missing, my word, I thought I was going to have a heart attack because we couldn't find him. Where's Declan? Mum hasn't got a clue where her sons are. I could not believe the situation we were in. Where's Declan, Tammy? Where's your little brother? Hey, but, oh, honey. Mom. No, no. That's not good. Did Declan just have those scissors? Yes. He did. I dread to think what that boy could have done with a pair of scissors in his hands, and yet there was no discipline for taking the scissors in the first place. Tammy needs to get assertive herself and take responsibility as a mother to look after her three boys. Mom. One of the big issues in the Orm family is eating. They do nothing but constantly snack throughout the day. make them hyperactive and then they're going to lose their appetite and they're not going to want any of their meals. Hey! 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 Sean came home at lunchtime and it was good to see him. Did you eat lunch, honey? No. Well, my job takes me away on um, a lot of trips, so I'm gone a lot. Hopefully somebody from the outside can tell us what each one of us is doing wrong. All right, little boys of mine. Okay, here you go, Is baby. No, you oh. want a whole or a half? I'll take two. Oh, oh, no. This is Ew. normal. I ran out of turkey, honey. <laughs> Today at lunchtime, Kazen decided that he didn't want to eat the sandwich that Tammy had prepared for all the other children. And he kicked up a fuss. Kaden, you're being ridiculous, honey. You don't, you don't get any food. All right, just forget it. I'll just... What do you want? Do you want a turkey sandwich? Kaden. I'll make him turkey. I just don't think that she's strict enough and she thinks I'm too strict. Caden didn't want to eat his sandwich. Dad said he had to, and Mum went and made another sandwich. They've got different approaches, and they need to come together. What, what, what would you say that you disagree on some of the issues? I think he yells too much. That's big, number one for me. And he I don't yells think too she much. She does enough when they're doing something wrong in front of her. So when you come home, you mean that you don't think she? When we're together in the car or whatever, I mean they'll be throwing something while she's driving or I'm driving. Yeah. And she'll just sit there and talk or read a magazine and not do anything about it. But you want uh, silence. Like, I mean, if they even, like, uh, you know, Mom, like, Mom. I told you to be quiet. Oh my gosh, she was just asking me something. Chandler! Tammy doesn't hold authority with her children. They don't look at her with any respect. Chandler! Come on. Don't teach me. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Oh, look who's coming. Oh, cool. Street watcher. We need it. I hope they come down all here all the time. Chan is eight years old, and he smart mouths his mother all the time. And I think that's very disrespectful. Huh? Chandler, honey. I don't need that kind of attitude from you. Tammy pleads with her children to do stuff that they should be doing. Yes, Kaden. Yeah. Chandler, honey, don't yell at me, sweetheart. Stop, baby. Mommy's just gonna fix it. Kaden, stop. She pegs them. It's cringing to to watch. Please, put it back up for mommy. Stick it in there. Kaden. There also seems to be a lot of chaos, and it seems very hectic in the um, household. We are in the middle of baking cookies. At one stage, Declan had his hands in the oven because they were cooking cookies, and next minute... Oh, here he is. He's catching bugs. Caden was outside the house, and nobody knew where he was. And now she's got two children that are in the house, one of them being three years old, which could have his hands in the stove looking for the cookies. But Mum wouldn't know because she's out here collecting bugs. Crazy. 
Did you poke holes in the cookies? Oh, you did poke holes in the cookies, didn't you? Mum was really trying to multitask and manage looking after all three boys, which um, she was struggling with. Tammy? Come through! Look at this! Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> this is Mummy on the floor. It's just got a little bit out of hand, to be honest, in the house. But the children are ruling roost. When I first meet a family, I go in and I observe their family life and the dynamics between parents and their children. And I take mental notes throughout the day of what I feel is not working. And at the end of the evening, I sit down and I talk to the parents about what I've observed throughout the day. Jo, when we were waiting for her to talk to us, it, <laughs> the longer I waited, the more nervous I got. I'm super sensitive in the area of my kids and my job as a mother. I'm definitely nervous. I don't know what to expect. I would like to say to the both of you that you couldn't find a home as warm as the home that I've walked into. And without a doubt, the love and the praise that you give your boys in abundance is really a beautiful thing. Also, I'd like to talk about the things that I'm not too happy about. Discipline needs to be a must. There is a lack of discipline on your behalf, Tammy. You're constantly trying to convince them that they should listen to you. And you're the mum. You're in charge. And there is discipline on your side, Sean, which seems so much firmer and sterner where you're more relaxed. And because no one's being consistent, the children are getting mixed messages. Chandler is a boy who smart mouths. He's rude when he smart mouths back to you. He doesn't respect by the way that he talks to you. Declan, a smart three-year-old, you know the day is coming bad when you're walking out into the front yard and your child has got a pair of scissors and you're thanking your lucky stars that you weren't dealing with something more serious. Hayden, for example, won't eat his lunch as we know, or his dinner. And your complete fear as a mother that your children are going to starve makes you act impulsively. Now, I'm sitting here and I'm watching you feel upset because, you know what I truly believe that I'm seeing here? Is, is a woman that is taking all of this blame as guilt. That you feel guilty, Tammy, if you have to discipline your children. That you feel that you won't be any closer than what you are to put your foot down. <sighs> and let me tell you something, Sean. Your wife's tired. She's struggling. And she needs your help. She does need your help. I want to be super mom, where I take on everything, and I've... Sorry, honey. Yeah. Hey. I've never asked him to help me very much. And he's kind of gotten used to that. I'm sorry. Come here. He goes to work every day, earns a living. I get to stay home with the kids. He gets home when he's tired. And um, you, you don't work? You work, Tammy. Oh, hell, you work. <laughs> you work every day. You two come together and change your parenting techniques and change your behavior pattern. Your children will change their behavior pattern. And we are going to go through routines and techniques, and we're going to make this better. So you don't think it's too late to backtrack? It's never too late. No. It's never too late. My word. It's never too late. Okay. Jo, she's definitely straightforward. So, and the combination of that and me being emotional and me taking so much pride in my job, it was a little overwhelming. 
There was nothing that Joe said that I disagreed with at all. Hello. Hey, Joe. Hiya. I've got a routine. Uh oh. The routine I felt the house needed mm. because it was very chaotic and it gives a very solid foundation here and, and structure for your children, which they do need. It's definitely going to take some getting used to because it's been eight years of running things this way. I wasn't expecting a, a routine chart to come out. I thought, oh my gosh, when did she have time to put my whole life on a chart? When she pulled out the list of routines, I thought, oh boy, I'm back in the military here, you know? I've put here snack time, which I think is very reasonable because lunch was at 12.30. Kids come home from school and, and, and they're hungry, so, I want you to make that snack time for all of the children, okay? Before I start teaching my techniques, I lay out a set of rules of what behavior is acceptable and what behavior is not acceptable. What I wanted to talk to you all about was household rules, okay, which I think are very important. No more hitting one another because I know that you brothers all love each other very, very much. When mummy cooks a meal, I want you all to behave well and eat your dinner or your lunch. Sean and Tammy, when you see behaviour that's not acceptable, I would like you to give your children a, a warning and tell them, no, stop that behaviour, it's not acceptable. If you don't stop your behaviour and, and your behaviour carries on to be naughty, then Mummy will put you into the naughty room. I would like to use the downstairs bedroom as the naughty room. OK? Yeah, well, we're nodding. Are you nodding? Yeah, I think it's good. Caden is going to be Joe's challenge for this whole thing because he's a stubborn little guy. I'm really concerned about how the boys become over-aggressive when they play. That does need to stop. Hey, Jacqueline. Oh, they're beautiful picture. Caden and Declan were painting, and Caden took a swipe at Declan. That's just not acceptable. Wait, let him dry. No, 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 no. Oh. Caden had already been warned by Tammy not to hit his brother. So he got sent off to the naughty room. Tammy, we can come down, OK? Give them eye contact. Lower your tone so that you're being firm and authoritative and place him into the naughty room for that unacceptable behaviour. Do you hit your brother? No. Did I already give you one warning today? You have to go sit in the naughty room right now. Oh, oh, look yeah. at me. Without the attitude for six minutes. I explained to him why I put him in the room. You're in this room because... Caden, you're in this room because Mommy warned you not to hit your brothers. Let's go, you guys. Out. So whilst Caden's in the naughty room, he's going to have time to think about his naughty behaviour. It felt good to put Joe's teachings into place. Normally, it's me screaming, Caden, knock it off. I didn't lose it. I felt so in control. I did what I had to do. I did what she told me. It's time now that you could go and get Caden. Remember to say to him, Mommy put you in this room because you, you hit your brother. It's now time to come out and I'd like you to go and apologize to your brother, please. If he says, no, I don't want to do it, then he stays in there. He stays in there. Do you know why you were in this room? Mm -hmm. What happened? For what? Yeah, is it nice to hit your brother? Can you please go and apologize to Declan and give him a hug and say you're sorry? Thank you. Tammy did really, really well. She followed through to the T and it worked. The boys love to snack on loads of junk food and that can make them hyperactive and then they're going to lose their appetite and they're not going to want any of their meals. In order to stop the boys from helping themselves to all the snacks, I've brought in a snack box. 
you can uh, most definitely take that into the pantry and clear up all your snacks oh, and put them in there. Yeah, okay. The purpose of having this snack box is so that the boys still feed on those snacks throughout the whole day so that they don't want to eat come lunchtime or dinner time. Oh, I see lots of things that could go in this box. Oh my word. There's enough there for a whole army. For the men. <laughs> there it is. Come and take a look. The snack box. Okay, you guys. Even though I've curbed the children from eating snacks, it's still not going to completely change Caden's eating problem because that's all about control. There's no reason, unless he's allergic to any particular food, that he shouldn't eat the same as his brothers. When Tammy realises that she's losing control of dinner time, what she needs to do is to separate the food on Caden's plate and explain to him exactly how much more she wants him to eat. First, I want you to eat this meat, and then I want you to have one bite of corn. <laughs> Just a bite. Oh, he's got to have the big bite, like you said, and then he can get done. Finish this meat, and you can take a bite of corn. <laughs> Let's not stall. Address that situation again. Okay, let's finish that meat up, please. What are doing? Finish no, that meat right there. Get away, baby. Don't forget about that word. Let's eat that one bite of corn. Keep on him. Keep on him. Caden was still resisting to eat, and so I taught Sean how to set by example, show and tell. Check it out. Dad's gonna get his bite. Get your bite. You get yours. Do it together. It's a teamwork. One, two, three, go. Bad boy, good boy. Woohoo! Way to go, well babe. Done. That's, That's my boy. At least you tried it. When we first <laughs> sat down together, yeah, I, I probably did doubt. Joe's ability and the knowledge that she had of kids, you know, that was proven wrong. <laughs> I mean, Caden did a 180. Very proud well, of you. Super proud of you, honey. I think it's wonderful. It's the same place from all, how well they're doing. And I'd like to say well done to Mum and Dad. Thank you. This evening, Dad sat down to do homework with Chandler. I'm trying to be there for my wife when, you know, when she needs help. It's not going to be easy. Okay, so you need to think of a sentence. Tan, yes. pay attention to your work. Mm, yeah. As they were doing the homework, I could visibly see that Chana was getting upset. Now don't look at me. This is your work, honey. I don't know, bud. Shall I have a look? Shall I suggest something? You want to Let's see? have a look. Sit down, darling. Let's have a look. Hey, hey. <laughs> Chan. We're not going to do this. Sometimes children bottle up what they're feeling inside, and what you get is a secondary emotion, and sometimes that comes out physical, with attitude or with aggression. Can I ask you why you feel really upset? Do you want to talk, talk to Jojo and tell me, and then we'll work through it together. I'm just not happy. You're not happy? Then you tell me why you're not happy. I don't know. I just don't want to see it. Why is that, darling? How do you know it? God, I just want to work with Mom anyways. Is there any reason why you like to do it with Mom and not Cause, Dad? Because Dad yells at me sometimes. Did I yell at you? You yelled at me in the first grade. Okay, listen to that because that's valid. Okay? Um, um how does that how does that make you feel when, when Dad yells at you? It makes me mad. I'm very pleased that you've said how it makes you feel because that's important. Okay, John, that's important. Mm -hmm. So no yelling, Daddy, okay? Okay. No yelling. Like, I do much better, like, alone. You do much better alone. Do you want to write yeah. the sentence by yourself? Yeah. Okay. When Chandler told me how he was feeling during homework, um, and it really, truly just tore me up inside, you know, because I sure in the heck don't want my son, you know, not being able to ask me a question because I yelled at him last year over something in homework. It was an eye-opener, you know, it, it didn't feel good at all. Chandler was saying that he felt that you yelled at him and made him feel upset when he was doing his homework, which put pressure on him. So I want to open up that doorway. So if I can get you to call Chandler in and just say, you know, buddy, I'm sorry if I made you feel that way, but I really want to be able to help you do your homework sometimes. Hey, Chan. Hey, dude. Come here. Your dad wants to talk to you. Yeah. 
dad doesn't want you to feel like um, that, okay. you know, uh, that I'm yelling at you or anything, and I'm well, sorry that you think. I know I used to, honey, but daddy's gonna change that, okay? Okay. If you ever feel that way again, you need to tell me, okay? okay. Right when we're doing your homework? Sure. All right? I love you. Good job. Ah? Uh? Thanks. So I'm gone now for a while, and Tammy and Sean have to do it on their own because I can't be around forever. I hope while I'm away that Tammy and Sean remember the details of the techniques that I've taught them. Take care. All right. Have a good night. Bye -bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. We're on our own. <laughs> I think Joe's got us pretty close to trained. And we'll find out. <laughs> I just hope that they stick with it 100%. And whilst they're doing it, I'm going to be watching them. Here. Yeah. I'm not eating. Tammy's got to make sure that when it comes to Caden's eating time, that it doesn't go on forever. That's what Caden's good at, game playing with mum and stalling the whole situation. But I'll give you two dollars. No, we're not giving money. He has to take a bite. You could either spend the good hour that we have of playtime playing, or you could spend it at the table, which doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me waiting to eat a bite of beans. Mum, don't buy into it. He's playing you. <laughs> if you take a bite and you don't like it, then Mommy won't give you pork and beans anymore, but you need to try it. <laughs> this is absurd. What is going on? <laughs> Homework time. He looks stressed. Chandler really looks stressed. Do you remember that word? The tricky one, because it looks like a U, but it says U flute. It. Come on, baby. Chandler. What? Would you please do homework with me? I am. It. Yeah. You're mad because you had a busy day today? Why would you take it on me? Baby, I told you last night that you had a lot of homework today. Come on, Tammy. Get in control of this situation. Just like all the other kids out there, honey, they have homework too. You know why I want to do it alone? Because you. Oh, here we go. Attitude. I tried to start this out nicely, but if you're going to have this attitude with me, this is your warning. Are you going to read this with me? All right. I am. Go into the naughty room. I'm oh, God. No homework getting done tonight, that's for sure. Chandler has given me a few uh, challenging moments. Let's go do homework nicely, yeah? I feel like uh, I have no control. You're not gonna go do homework nicely. I can't regain the control that I need. Whoa, slamming doors again. I'm done. Chandler? I think it's hard for Tammy having to manage all three boys. Oh my God. Where is anybody to look after Declan? Nobody knows he's even outside the house. This is too dangerous. The car! Oh, that's it. I need to get back to the Orm family now. After I've left the household, I go away for a couple of days, and when I come back, I show the family footage of where they need to perfect the techniques that they have found difficult whilst I've been away. Okay. I'm only asking for one bite, honey. One bite is all I ask. Right, and there. That is where I would have stopped the nonsense. Your low voice should have come in and it should have been, Caden, sit at the table properly and finish the two spoonfuls. Otherwise, you're going into the naughty room because you are not listening to me. Okay. okay. Just like all the other kids out there, honey, they have homework too. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm done. 
You oh. both lost it. Oh, I was so done. Oh, Joe, I was so done. I was so frustrated. The pair of you were like this, ready to pull your hair out. So your firm voice could have come in with, do not give me attitude, do not talk to me like that. If you stay calm, then you can address the situations that do need to be addressed with his attitude and how he speaks to you. But then you can go, come on, let's get it done. So then we can go and we can relax and hang out together afterwards. I'm not happy with watching Declan move out on his own in the street. You see the height of Declan in comparison to the car? Mm -hmm. He walked straight out on the road behind this parked car and there could have been a car. And he's in the middle of the road. That's, to me, you know, my mind wouldn't even imagine what could happen to Declan out on the street while you're indoors. And, and that is why I feel that you have to supervise Declan because he's too young. You've got to be on top of that situation, the pair of you. Okay, is that clear? Okay. We've looked through the footage and I'm going to stick around and support you and reinforce all the techniques. Okay? Okay. So you can carry on the evening. I have bought okay. the door lock. Okay. What I would like to establish is your awareness of where the children are. I think it's a very good idea that they start coming to you and asking you if they can go out. Okay. All right, you can hold that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Mummy, I want you to explain to your boys why that lock's on the door and what do you expect from them? This lock is on the door because while we're in the house and you guys want to decide if you want to go out and play, I need you to come and say, Mommy, I'm going to play outside and tell me where you're going. And this especially goes to you. Brilliant, Tammy. Excellent. Now the boys have to come to you. Tonight, the Orm family had a barbecue and they invited their friends. As usual, Caden was resisting to eat his food again. Caden, have you taken bites? Well, you just have to sit here until you take those bites, okay? You've just got to have a couple of spoonfuls to try for mummy and then you can get down. Look at me. I'm giving you one more minute to take a bite of that. And if you don't take a bite of that, you're going to go into the naughty room. I can see now, that's a control thing. And he's going to eat it. I was catering too much. There we go. Where to go, Caden? Where to go, darling? Caden ate what I told him to eat. I think he knew that we were serious and we were firm. He's getting the picture. Hats off to Tammy, she did really well. She followed through with it and she got the results. And it was very successful. I was very proud of her. Come here. My household is so different. Everything is running more smoothly. There's no, there's not as much chaos in the house. Caden's eating his dinner. He doesn't come in and out of the pantry 500 times a day. Very proud We're of you. super proud of you, honey. Can I get a bite of That was the you know, best dinner I think we've ever done. had. How to be a ranger. Good, that was very good. There's been a big change in Chandler. His attitude is improving. He's not supposed to have two teens. Mm -hmm. Like now, Chandler wants to do homework with Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and Declan's gotten used to playing in the house. It's a huge difference. There has been a tremendous amount of progress with the Orm family. Tammy's got more control over situations when she's managing all three boys. And both parents, they've like connected and come together and they're working on the same page. <laughs> oh, no. oh. All right. Watching Sean with the boys, it's amazing. It's good for the boys to bond with their dad like that. OK, you want a green guy? Yes. Okay. Progress is happening, slowly but surely. And that's what counts. And that makes me feel very, very happy for them. Take care. Everything is so awesome. I mean, I can't even tell you how much you've helped us. Oh, thank you. They were open from the beginning. 
they were warm, they were receptive, they wanted change and uh, they deserve every result they're getting, every result because they've put the hard work in and uh, it's lovely to uh, walk into a house and see what needs changing and to walk out and see it changed. That's priceless, That's priceless. I've done what I was meant to do here in this family and uh, I'm off to the next one now. Everything has changed. This is more than I expected. To actually see her come in here and work wonders on our family was more than I could have ever hoped for. It was uh, an amazing experience for, for all of us. Since Joe's been around, I think the biggest difference in our family is we're much closer. Even though we were a tight family, it's just seeming like we've came together even snugger, you know, kind of put some ceiling around the window, basically. I am happy that Joe came in. And I'm so happy, but I'm so sad because I'm going to miss her. There you go. <laughs> Double dot! Okay, start at that dot right there. It's fun with Joe, but I missed her. Okay. These buttons. Yeah. She's made me, I would say, be a better father, you know, and, and help my kids act proper, you know, which is going to reflect onto them and pass it on to their kids one day. Joe made a big difference forever, I mean, on how these kids are going to turn into three, six and eight year olds into grown men and they're going to be raising their kids and be better parents because of what Joe taught us. It's, it's, it's a chain. I mean, not only did she affect our life, but she can affect my children's life. That's, that's an amazing thing to do for somebody, for all of us.